what is going on everybody this is tj and just before this video starts i just want to thank everyone for reaching 1000 subscribers on youtube we've been going what properly like we've we uploaded two videos um between like in june july uh, two three videos and then we've been uploading on some some sort of regular some sort of basis since so we're, since about the end of august so about so about four months time four months time of actually uploading and we've made it to 1000 subscribers couldn't thank can't thank you all enough but yeah i thought i'd bring you this video we are going to be uploading a christmas video as well not your typical audit not sure if it's to be everyone's cup of tea but basically because we had a good uh they didn't bother us at all at pontypool i decided to bring them a uh i decided to bring them some welsh cakes and donuts as being a welsh police station but and they were quite thankful so yeah no no everyone likes to jump on the bandwagon of attacking the law and stuff like that as as i've said before i'm not the sort of person who just goes out auditing to start arguments i i go out to show the good and the bad and that's exactly but this video the ba systems class coid uh, police were okay to start off with. Uh, they tr they were trying to get my details towards the end, like. But the the worst guy in this video is the security guard, who literally he's not wearing an SIA badge for one, and uh, he literally tries to attack me, uh, just getting in my face and everything like that. Just an idiot man. So, but you'll see that in the video. So uh, yeah, hope that sums it up. And thank and thank you all. This is TGA, and we are today going to be approaching the BAE Systems in Glasscoid, which was originally the Royal Ordnance Factory of Glasscoid. See this sign down there? It's a very cold December day today. I'm shivering a bit, so sorry if the camera shakes a bit. Uh, so it was originally a UK government owned Royal Ordnance Factory. It was designed as one of over 20 munitions filling factories. Uh, during the war, it was planned as a permanent Royal Ordnance Factory with the intention that Ah, so it's permanent this one was. Unlike some other facilities, it will remain open for production uh, after the end of World War II. It, after privatisation of the Royal Ordnance Factories in the 1980s, it became part of Royal Ordnance PLC and later a production unit of PA Systems. It was served by Great Western Railways, Coalford, Coalford, Monmouth, Eskin, Pontypool Railway from its opening in April 1940 until 1993, that lasted a while. So yeah, it was after the leading leading up to the outbreak of war in 1939, uh, the British government developed a strategy to disperse armaments and munitions production away from major cities on the southeast part of England, which were felt to be especially vulnerable to bombing from the air. As a result, of the Ministry of Supply, the Ministry of the Supply built a number of Royal Ordnance factories and satellite factories. Yeah, this was actually served by trains at one point. Glasscoid. Uh, we are in the Gwent region as the Gwent auditor. Gonna be heading up towards Glasscoid now. As you can see though, they've got this fence going around. I don't know whether Royal Mail have been going around as well. That's not them though. Yeah, we're up a glass coin today. Up a glass coin today, guys. Just walking up by uh, by the glass coin houses. <laughs> Just making a little uh, recording of. Uh, BA Systems really, which oh, yeah. formerly the Royal Ordnance Factory, wasn't it? So uh, oh, yeah. it's got a bit of history around this area. Yes. Yeah. And I was reading as well that the railway used to serve used to serve Glasscoe yes. back in the day yeah. as well. So are you local? I live in I live in South Wales. Oh, so I just saw. Right no, no, not around this area. Oh. <clears throat> well, 
When you when you go through the gates, the rail used to cross the road there and go through that wood. There's a wood over the back, you can't see it, there's a field between it. The old railway, wooden railway thing for, for the factory is still there. Oh, it still, still remains today. Yeah. That's, that's amazing because it was a long the time ago as well. The railway line is still in from you back to Little Mill. All the bloody trees have just grown up through it. You know? It's just a single track in it. So there's still remnants of it now? Mm. That's crazy. Well, I can remember when I was a kid. There's a railway bridge up, 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 up there, went up the glass bit. Used to stand on there as a kid. I watched the trains that went out. Used to be three trains a day going out from there. Besides all the buses. Oh, I wish I could have seen that. Yeah. If I was yeah. on your boat in, the, in them days, I would have loved to have seen and something like that. When, um, I don't know what time of day it would be, about uh, say half past four. The buses would be coming out of here. Hmm? And the last one going out of here, the first one would be going up over the jockey. Because oh. as he was coming down, that's all he was seeing was bloody buses, one after the other. Oh, wow. Of course, they used to go all up the, the valleys and all then, see? So he's well, well connected back in the day. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, I appreciate that. I appreciate the info as well. Thank oh. you very much. You have a lovely day. Thank you. What side have you been? I'm supposed to be in the bin. Outside of it, the A systems glass coid. See, I thought I'd make a little. Thought I'd come down today with my camera, since it's all since the uh, it's in Gwent. We are Gwent based, so uh, and I was looking up on Google Maps around this place, and I saw, hang on, that pavement there—that's publicly accessible. So I thought that's, that's public. That's a public. That's a public footpath. So I'm like, why not? Let's have a walk up there. We'll walk up public through public land and go up towards Glasscoid. It's a munitions factory dating back to the 1930s for World War II. So it's a piece of World War II history. Obviously, I think it has got links with the Ministry of... Obviously, it has got links with the Ministry of Defence. So uh, but I, d I doubt it. Since it's a privately owned company, I doubt they'll have like NDP or anyone coming here. If they did ring the police, it would be Gwent police, I'd imagine. Not the MDP, because the MDP, I don't even think the MDP actually have a base in South Wales. The nearest one, I believe, is the Vale of Glamorgan and uh, St. Athen, which we will do as well. We'll do uh, MOD St. Athen. But they've got a, um, I believe they've got an MDP police, police station in there. And uh, so they'd have to send units from the other side of Cardiff to get to get up here. So they wouldn't do that. They'd probably call the local the local police if they were to. But yeah, this is the road leading up to Glasscoid. Oh, there's an old pillbox. Look at that. Oh, I've got to photograph that. Look at that. It's a pillbox. Oh. Regulations 2014 prohibits access beyond this point. Unauthorised access is, is an offence and authorised persons will be removed from the premises. No parking at any time. Well, surely this is, there's a house down there. So is it past them gates? I mean, because there's a, there's a house by there. So I'm guessing that this is public access by here. So this is, look, this is council road. This is Council Road, and there's a, someone lives there, so obviously someone has to drive past that, past those, that area there to get to their house. And I've got a signal, signal there as well, look. Level crossing signal. I want to get a closer look at the site. There's people's houses there, look. There's glass coins down there. Yeah, someone's... Oh, that's part of the... That belongs to them, right. Oh, am I right in thinking that this is public by here? Where's this? I don't know, look.
Concerned unless this isn't this isn't a public space for you. And if I am asked to leave for, for any reason, if I do say this is private, I will I will leave this area, to be honest. So well, I'm under the impression it's publicly accessible, so I'm under the impression it's public land. <clears throat> you can see inside their gates by there. Official Secrets Act. This is something I don't really want to mess with, to be honest. So, yeah, past them gates. Look, that's their that's their site. That's their main gate there. Oh, look at the size of that! And Google Street View goes all the way up to this point. So, Google Street View. If a Google Street View car can come up here, so can I. That's my uh, my theory. Down there, look. I love that, that's pretty cool. That thing on the door there. Oh, is that BAE Systems property? Over there? That's someone's, that looks like someone's house. No, it's, it's a substation, I think. It says BAE Systems ERP building 10022 BAE Systems. That's it, we've got benches over here though. Publicly accessible there. Yeah? Let's see why it wouldn't be, look. You've got benches over here, look. look this is public, surely. This is pub publicly accessible. Yeah, you've got little benches and things. I'm trying to read what that sign says. That's all. Private property, official secrets act. Ah, they're not all unauthorised photography is prohibited. They can't really restrict anything from public land though. That's my point. They can't restrict anything from public. That's my point. So I don't know why they got all this house fence in the air though. That's all this about. Yeah, it's all... Is this the railway line in here? So I'm really not sure. All I know is it's publicly accessible. What have they got down there? All around the perimeter. I'm trying to find out where it is. So they've got information for the security call. The security line. There. Probably online anyway, but, you know. Yeah. See people going about. A further sign down there as well. Yeah, I don't really want to pass that point, to be honest. Staff park, it's that's the staff car park as well. So I'm not gonna pass that gate there. Look at the size of it as well. That's the gate. It's open at the minute, but it's that's their land, which is Ministry of Defence. So I'm fine where I am, I think. <laughs> They're looking at me. He's looking at me. Why are the three of them coming towards me? Why are three people coming towards me? Can I help you at all? Yeah, you fed you in on a site that's on the specific data video. Um am I on your site? Yeah, well it's one stretch straight, it's all your all part of the AE, sorry sir. Which, which from where is that? Uh, the entrance off uh, the road. from the main road. No, that's that's all people's housing down there. That's all people's housing yeah, down there, that's all public area. The land is owned by BAE. It's Monmouthshire County Council that area is. Yeah. 
No, it's not. That, 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 those houses down there, that's not BA Systems, that's, that, what, that's what the council. Just making a documentary about the site. I actually had a very friendly member of the public that who was walking down there and he was telling me about there used to be a railway running through here that from the from the 1930s and it was and it was bringing bringing ammunition out of the site so just making a documentary because this used to be the Royal Ordnance Factory as well. And who are you? I'm just just someone making a documentary that's all. Where is it going to be published? Just on YouTube. What's your name sorry? I don't need to tell you my name. Yeah, it does, but that's not that's not law if you're on public, is it really? So, the law says you can film anything that you can see from public. So, I'm not breaking any laws, as far as I'm aware. This is this is own land by uh, BAE Systems. All the way to all the way to obviously off the quarters in because the BAE own the houses as well, mate. Yeah. That's not what that's not, that's not what it says down there. So, that's council land down there, and I'm. I have looked. I have looked up on there uh, where it shows the land registry as well, and it says, it says this site is the yeah, area that's council, that's Monmouthshire County Council down there. Oh, so because all this used to be the burning grounds. Oh, this used to be, be part of. Used to be part of the old it used grounds. to be yeah when it was the Royal Ordnance Factory, but obviously that's that's going to change over over time as things do, because this this whole housing estates they're built on ex-military sites now. Would you say they're still military because they they used they're to be? They're owned by the land of BAE. Is it? Same as, same, as like field, same as like fields around and everything, they own them and they lease them out. So they're still owned by purpose, you're on private property, you're on private land. Where does it say that? I'm a site security manager, I know what's private land. I, I, I'm not arguing with you. I don't well, if you could show me something, just, if you could show me something that says that, then... So if I get a police now, obviously come in and ask you, and if they ask you to move because you're on private land, is that fine? Well, if they, well, if I speak to the police, yeah, they, they'd know, but I would like to see something that that can prove that really, so. And who are you? You're just, you're just security, are you? Well, he's a security manager. He's a security manager, you're, you're just, are you just that's, like security? That's or? security guard. Just, yeah, okay. Well, officer, yeah. Well, security officer. Me, I could film, I could isn't no, you cannot film me. I can film you no, if you I want can. to. Who says that? I says it. You're not filming me. Oh yeah, what law yeah. says that? No, you can't no. just you can't just get in my face. I, I can. You can't just get in my face. Why, why can't I? Mike. What gives you the right face? to film me? Mike. Nothing at all gives you the right to film me. If you Mike. touch me, you're going to be the one going down. I'm not touching you. If you're getting Mike. in my Shoes face, that's, threat, that's intimidation. That's causing a Shoes back in harassment, away, Mike. harassment, alarm, and distress. You getting in my face. Yeah, because you're speaking to me, of course I'm going to film you. You, know, you approached me. No, 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 I wasn't speaking to you. You was asking me questions and I told you not to film me. You carried on filming me. I'm allowed to film you. No, you're not. Well, what, you well, are not which law says that? Me. Which law says I can't film you? What? Which law says I can't film you? What law says you can't? The law, because I can film anywhere on it. Anything I could see in a public, publicly accessible space under Section 33 of the Criminal Justice Act 1972. If there's anything, if there was anything preventing me from getting to where I am, there's a public footpath leading right up here. There's people walking their dogs up and down. Yeah, it's public and, this, and, and the public places to find. I didn't go in that gate. The public path cuts off if you walk down there past the 21. And this past see the turning sign that says right. Just by on the upside, there's a public footpath that goes back up through the woods. Yeah, and you said, yeah, exactly. Footpath. You said, you said that you own all of this. But then there's a there's a style there. There's a pub, there's a there's a, there's right a sign for the for the public right away. So, where does it say it's not? Because this is it's publicly accessible. It's defined under Section 33 of the Criminal Justice Act 1972. So why are you filming? So, why are you, if you're filming me, why else are you filming? Because you approached me. That's why I'm filming you. I've just been filming the site. I've just been making a documentary about the site. And then you approached me. So. I just ask what you're doing, as I have a right to, because I'm site security man. Yeah, you have a right to. I'm just, I'm just saying, I've just been documenting the site, that's all. Alright, as long as you don't enter your footsteps on um, our white line or gate, that's fine. No, no, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not intended to go past the... Okay, no problem. So, no, um, I... I'm staying wherever it's publicly accessible, so... And there's a gate there, so... I've not crossed any gates, I've not... I've not crossed any gates or anything like that. I can see where the gate is and I'm not going past it. So... I can see that in signs over there.
that say I'm not allowed to go past there. So it's private. I can see the sign saying it's private property there. So I'm not. And I can see the gates. So I'm not going to pass. I'm not going to pass that point. I'm just filming what I can see from here. Yes, I can. Because you're, you're you're speaking to me, you're telling me. I'm just so I got evidence. Okay, yeah, if you want to, yeah. No, it's, it's for you because you're working. It's GDPR then, isn't it? It's GDPR then, isn't it? It's because you're in work. Because you're in work. If you if you're taking photos, then that's. Yeah, exactly. That's why I don't get why you've, filming, why you've got a problem with filming. Everyone's filmed every day by CCTV. So what's what's the issue with me filming? And? Doing that for anything. And? And you're on private land. Told you what I'm doing with it. Told you what I'm doing with it. What's that, sorry? I told you what I'm doing with it. I told you I'm going to post it online. Well, that's fine, but you have to, you have to record from that. You're on private property. You have to leave and record. Well, I know where the public footpath is, so you can't actually say anything from there, so. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and tell that clown not to come in my face again. Pardon? Tell, yeah, you, not, don't come in my come face. Come and say it to me. Come and say it to me. You came in my face. You came. You tried to intimidate me. Now nah, you're going down. If you come up, if you come up towards me being a clown, then you're going to be the one in trouble. Just because I'm filming doesn't give you a right to go and charge into my face. Two meters, mate. It's aggression. That's what it is. So yeah, we oh, got a lot of coming up, mate. I'm coming in my face. Like I got like three batteries that died, though, guys. So uh, I'm gonna try and replace it without that, without risk of that. I'm gonna try and get a new battery without risk of that clown coming in my face. He's still there, I think. It's a clown. It's got that clown coming in my face. There's the public footpath, so I'm gonna stand here, I think. I can still see guys. Still yeah, we're not going nowhere from here. Public land. Ah uh, yeah, I, I know I know what they mean because they have got that sign there to be fair, but still, it's publicly accessible. And I had that claim getting in my face, so what are you gonna do, mate? Can I get me to move from here? Untouchable. It's that clown's gone now. Still watching me, look. Look at him, he's watching me. Look at him. There he is. Site security manager. VA systems glass code. Public is public right away. I don't know what he's doing, but as you can see, there's a style there. Public footpath, right to Rome legislation, <clears throat> and uh, also Section 33 of the Criminal Justice Act. So, that clown didn't come in my face again. It's 
So yeah, threats, intimidation, we're trying all of that. BAE systems, guys. I would like to see where it says that all their houses are their land as well. So that was bullshit. Bullshit lies and intimidation at BA systems. Bullshit lies and intimidation at BA systems, must be. Like clown choice. Exactly, public footpath. Hello there. You're right. Sorry? Oh, there's a, if you follow it up there, there's a little, there's a stile that leads into the fields over there. Oh, oh right. So. We, we just saw it, it was this gap up here, off the lane. Oh. And we thought, let's try it and see where it goes to. Might as well. <laughs> Although, uh, yeah, I wouldn't go further down there because, you know, that's, you'll get, you'll get um, an angry security man coming out getting in your face if you go further down there. So. No, no, don't go near the main gates. <laughs> I wouldn't. I'm actually gonna. Which, does, did, that, did you come from the main road that way? Sorry? Did you come from the main road that way? Which with the path? Yeah. Where did you come from? Oh, so you went round round there. I might have to come down that way then. Have a little venture, I think. <laughs> yeah. Is. We've got a public public footpath going across here then. I'm the security manager. Yeah. There we are. <laughs> And then you can see a little style over there as well, look. Not sure where that might lead, really. <laughs> Although there is a, there's an old pillbox up at the yeah, top there as well. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, so yeah, it's easy to get easy to get lost with open fields like that, really. Yeah. Yeah. Tyrants. I like to wind up when I'm recording. When you've got nasty people who have no right to be to act the way they do. You have a little walk up in this pillbox up here. Pillbox. Pillbox, yeah. Oh. Hello, Aussie. We go in this one. Oh. Look at this. It's a pillbox, guys. Ah. Clown's back. Can't do shit. Please turn it. Oh, they have turned up, please. Get two, please. Is there any need of that? Hello there, officer. Okay. Not too bad. You? Okay. you can identify for me. Say again, buddy. Would you mind identifying for me? Yeah, PC 1903 from Grand Police, buddy. Thank you very much. All right. Um, mate, you know the score. You know what this place is. Because yeah. you wouldn't be here otherwise. Can you just appreciate that why they've, you know, rang us? Yeah, but how come you brought two vehicles? You brought a police car and a, and a van as well? Um, just because we 
we've come from different stations, buddy. That's all. We've just got you. Where you move? Okay. Where are you? Where are you based? If you don't mind me asking. Monmouth, I am, mate. Monmouth. Yeah. So, listen. As long as you don't go sort of, you know, past where it's where it says you can't go past. Okay? So, There's yeah. no issues with you filming. I've got no issues with that. Okay. You gotta understand. You know the nature. You know the sensitivity of the property. You wouldn't be here if you didn't know what was here, would you? No. So, <laughs> do you know what I mean? You know the score. Oh, it's I'm historic sure as well. It's... Before you come here, what you can and can't do. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, I'm not going to waste anyone's time. It's just we just need to make sure you're all in order. Okay. And you just come to order it, have you? Yeah. 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 All right, buddy. That's fine. Got no issues with that. Don't go past the, the signs, okay? Okay. All right. Okay. I would stay here and talk to you a bit longer, but there's another another emergency, okay? No All problem. Right, so we gotta have to. That's gotta be allocated. Okay. okay buddy. Uh, All right. Twenty-one eighty-three. Yeah, twenty-one eighty-three, mate. Thank you very much. All right, buddy. You got any questions for us before we shoot off? Because we gotta go to another emergency. So uh, it's. They, they, said, they were saying, oh yeah, this entire area is BAE systems, but then there's public rights away going right through it, then you've got houses down there as well, so yeah. I so, understand that it's all yeah, under mate, public land. You've before you come here, I've yeah. got absolutely no doubt you know where you can and can't do, okay? Mm -hmm. So as long as you don't come past there, okay, then I've got no issues with that, all right? Um, I, one thing I did have a concern about is that yeah. the security gentleman there, he got right into my face, tried to intimidate me, yeah. and he was and that, he was like, I was, the only reason I, only reason I was filming towards him is because he started... He started speaking to me, started being a bit yeah, yeah, aggressive, and then he was coming up towards was me like that. So you were down that way, were you? Yeah, I was just I was outside. I didn't go anywhere. I didn't go inside their gates or anything like that. I yeah. stayed outside. So so yeah, they obviously need to protect that place. Mm. It's obviously a sensitive place. You know what's made there. I'm not going to go into details because you're obviously mm. aware of what's made there. So that's probably why. Okay. Okay. You're carrying a backpack. Okay. You're masked up. Okay. You're not going there saying, "Oh, I'm so and so, and I'm auditing." Such no. and such, <laughs> do you know what I mean? So they've, they're going to have legitimate concerns, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Is that fair enough? Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. That's fair, officer. Okay, no. So, um, as I said, if you don't go past there, there's no issues, all right, buddy? Okay. All right, we'll leave you to it, okay? Thank you very much. All right. Have Perfect. you got, yeah, have you got a car here or have you walked here? I've, I've, walked, my, I've walked up from from us to. Uh, I've walked up from us direction, so. So the lorry. I've walked up from us direction, so. You from Esk area or? No, no, I've just I've been in the area, that's all. Oh, okay. So. Have you come far or? No, not too far. You just, go all over just, doing it, do you? Just based in, based around South Wales anyway, so. There we are, marvellous. All right, buddy, um, we'll leave you to it, okay? I appreciate all that. Right, right, you take care, officers. Cheers, mate. Bye-bye. Have a lovely day. There, so there we go, completely different. Completely different approach from the police. Like they're all right. They're pretty, they seem pretty sound, rather than the security guard down there who's getting in my face, telling me I can't do this, can't do that. And then we've got there we are. There we are, guys. BA Systems Class Coid. Um, hope you all did enjoy this one. Been a quite quite interesting uh, video. Problems at all. Yeah, I didn't. Yeah, obviously this site isn't anything to do with MDP. I'm just wondering, could we have gone that way? But well, I'm not sure. So uh, we're going to walk back now. Hello, buddy. What else, sir? I just feel with you down here. Um, you still recording now? Yeah, I've started recording. It's just again. knock it off for two seconds. Just want to have a quick chat with you. I'd rather keep it on, my sure. No worries, that's fine, mate. Is there any chance I just grab your details? I'd, I'd rather not give my details. Do you know? Do you know when you like you go to police stations and things like that? Things like that. Yeah. All yeah. right. It's fine. We know what the score is. Okay. This place, as you can imagine, is slightly different. Okay. I'm gonna what have to you... put an intelligence log in for it because of the um, what it is. What crime am I being suspected of committing? I mean, it's just for our intelligence. That's all it is, buddy. Because of the, the nature of the facility. But I've been I've been tried I've been tried to be swindled before by by officers who've. We think if, if you don't want to give me details, that's fine, you don't have to, alright? You can appreciate what kind of place this is, that's why I'm just... I understand that, I'm just... But you know what I'm doing, so, and you, you were fine by there. There's no need to take any, any details from me. To be honest, you, you were fine. You, you went back to your vehicle and... And then yeah. you, let, you let me carry on walking. You don't want to give me details? Off. No, I'd rather no, not. No, that's fine. I'll just update the log so you um, give me your details, okay? Okay. Alright, but I'll put an intelligence log in to suggest that you've been here, alright? Mm -hmm. Because of the nature of the city, right? you can appreciate that, guy. Yeah, that's no problem. All right, there we are. Alright, thank you, Good officer. Have a lovely day. Thank you. So, 
So yeah, um, didn't think the officer was going to approach me again to try and get my details. You know, I was about to say, oh, well, have a good day. And then he's just trying to put a log in. Trying to, and then he's trying to swindle me and trying to trying to get my details. But he's, he's gone now. If he tries to approach me again, I'll be like, give it a rest. But I don't know. And they try and say all these all these words like, oh, you got a bag, you messed up, and well, there's Omicron about, you know, there's Omicron about. Trying to see what the real issue is, to be honest. But yeah, we're going to walk, uh, walk back towards, back towards Esquay now. Uh, done the prison there. Not really thinking what the, trying to find out what else there is to do. Uh, it's the police station there, seems quite quiet. He said he's from Monmouth Police Station, so he knows what I'm doing. I mean, I'll see how good I am for time. Might go to his base, perhaps, Monmouth Police Station. That could be the next one. And the police were all right. So they're trying to put in an intelligence log because of this being a, uh, a munitions factory. As they do terrorism, they always bring that up all the time. So yeah, that's been uh, BA Assistance Last Code, guys. Thanks for watching.